Good morning, folks. We've got incredible eye candy today, news about the Iceland volcanic sequence, and an excellent paper on Earth's magnetic field and the weather. It's one of several epic articles we'll be sharing over the coming days, but we're starting right now with the last 24 hours on our star, and folks, this is what a quiet sun looks like. Despite the abundance of sunspots, our star is very calm. No significant flares or eruptions over the last day, and solar wind and geomagnetic conditions remain quiet. Remember, we are still looking ahead to tomorrow night when a glancing blow CME may impact Earth's magnetic field. It won't be scary, but we could see low-level solar storm conditions. With that in mind, let's use Hubble and James Webb to go out to the pillars of creation. This sequence is a combination of the visible and infrared wavelength views toggling to show advanced probing of one of the most iconic space features in the galaxy. This 3D look offers a way to conceptualize the nebula in ways that have never been done before. The purpose of the examination was to look at star formation science within the pillars, but the visual splendor of the production is vastly more intriguing. When examined slowly, you can pick out jets, stellar wind carving, and stellar ignition signatures amidst the dusty molecular form absolutely stunning. Then again, you could say the same watching the footage of the latest volcanic uptick in Iceland. Scientists are now saying there's no signs of stopping for the new eruptive phase on the island nation and that these eruptions could go on for decades. If true, it will likely include brief instances of extreme release like in 2011 or worse. Last but certainly not least, the first of the big news papers will have to close out the month. They were attempting to track solar activity and climate oscillations, especially for the 2400-year Halstatt cycle of the Sun. Instead, they found that the variations over all but very brief timescales were driven entirely by changes in Earth's magnetic field. In their dipole moment data showing how strong Earth's magnetic field is, we see a drop at the 6,000 years ago mark, the last mini excursion, the NOAA event or China event, with a dip again now as we descend into another pole shift. And consequently, they find both the beryllium and carbon production rate mirroring that forcing, with spikes at the last excursion 6,000 years ago and again now as we re-enter this geophysical phase. Not that most of you channel veterans needed more convincing, but here's yet another way to see that the 6,000 year ago event was major, and we're going into another one now. And these are what's responsible for the major long-term climate oscillations. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.